hi libra everyone and welcome back to my channel it's your natural kinky sister here and i am going to show you how i created rice water crown shampoo for length retention all right come follow me I'm so excited so let us begin by sharing out the the rice water so we are going to be using around 178 grams of rice fermented water and um, some glycerin and you know glycerin is a humectant that draws moisture to the hair it also adds as a, a um, deep conditioner for the hair I'm using my hydrolyzed protein um, DIY powder that I made four grams of that and that's going to help to soften and smooth the cuticle, making the hair shiny. Also reduce breakage and it's going to repair and protect the hair shaft while it's going to add protein. And that's going to coat the outside of the, the hair um, strands, making it more um, thicker and look more volumized. All right. So that's what um, hydrolyzed protein does for your hair. We're using some coconut milk and coconut milk is one of the best products you could ever use for hair growth and for, for length retention. It contains lauric acid. Also, it contains a high amount of protein. It contains vitamin C, E, B1, B3, B5, B6. It helps with hair loss and it promotes, as I said, growth and length retention. It also restores dryness and protects the hair from dandruff. That's the scalp, sorry. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to mix that together and then I'm going to pop that into my rice water. Now set aside for the double boiler method. Moving on to our oil phase. In this phase, we're going to use shea butter. We're going to be using some castor oil and we're going to be using some emulsifying wax, cetyl alcohol, which is a stabilizer. And we're going to use all these four ingredients because we want them to penetrate the shaft of the hair, which is going to add moisture and it's going to help with, you know, thickness, volume, volume, and also shine. So now we're going to take this jar over to the double boil and we're going to add the water phase and the oil phase together into the double boil method, heat them at the same temperature, and then we're going to emulsify them. All right. So when you're doing this, you have to make sure you do short pulse as we want it to thicken up and not destabilize. But you want to make sure it's emulsified enough that the two, um, the wax and the alcohol can come together and create this nice emulsion and it's stable. All right. So you're going to see me using the immerse blender. Then I'm going to be using the hand whisk and also the spatula. I have to allow time for my product to cool down so I can emulsify to get it thicker. Because if I continue whisking or blending at this rate while it's still warm, it's gonna destabilize the whole product. And we don't want that. So we're gonna take our time and do this correctly. All right, so that's why I've incorporated the hand whisk, the spatula, and also the immerse blender. I wanted to do it correctly, but timely. And as you can see, it's thickening up quite well, and I'm quite happy. So this is exactly what you're looking for. You're looking for a thick, deep conditioner that will give you that nice moisturize after you finish washing your hair. Right now is the cooling down phase, and we're going to add the preservatives. We're going to add our vitamin E. We're going to add our pathanol. We're going to add all this scrumptious stuff we normally add at the end, right? Remember guys to do your pH test right after you've added these and you've blended and mixed them correctly Because if you forget to add your pH, you're gonna have to add it at the end 
and you don't want to have to start like put things back in a container or in the jar to do it i found it difficult because i forgot to do it and i had to mix the citric acid in the container which i didn't like but because i forgot i wanted to make sure i incorporated it in this video to let you know that these things can happen so just try to remember each step okay this is without the ph proper ph you can tell the color is off and when i add the citric acid it changed to a light pinkish tone which you could tell that definitely has changed the ph balance of my product right you can tell this is so thick it ain't budging it is so so thick and i learned these methods from youtube as you can see here this one is my rice curlies and that one's ph balance which that's the color you're supposed to have in the cream and the one opposite is not that color so i had to balance that one this is my crown rice water shampoo which is very good you use once a week with the kit and this has your hair growing immensely right and this is my deep condition that i just made right the other clip that you're about to see is a clip with me adjusting the ph and making sure it has the correct ph balance you can tell here that i am trying to correct it because the color has changed so we're not quite there yet but this clip i didn't show the actual product but you can tell it's pinker you can tell with this clip it's very pinker all right so don't forget always check over your list you know your your stages or your phases make sure you tick off everything that you've done that you can remember to add everything accordingly okay because you don't want to do such hard work and then your product goes to waste thanks for joining and i'll see you guys soon